Hey guys, back for day four of walking the old abandoned train line in Japan. We're going to start off where we left off the end of day three at the old train station through some thick forest, through some open countryside, through some more thick forest. We'll get to the beginning of that bridge, then we've got to skirt around that old bridge and then come down below the screen here to another old station down the bottom of the screen. So we're going to start off at that old station that we finished at at the end of day three. Here it is, beside the river, beautiful spot. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other day three video where we just, not much talking, but lots of walking. So again, we're looking to get your opinion. Day one and day two, we tend to edit the video and cut it shorter so that you could see a lot more of the journey in a shorter period of time day three and day four we've just basically let the video run a lot so it's not as much editing not as much talking just as just long periods of walking because that's what some people said they wanted to see so now you guys have had a chance to see two videos that were the edited style two videos that are the less edited style you can tell us what your opinion is do you prefer the day one and day two videos or the day three and day four videos?
So guys, this is the beginning of a really high bridge that goes across the river. And we would have loved to walk across it, but there are a few farms on the other side and a main road on the other side. And a big foreign dude walking across this open bridge would stand out a lot. And it would just be too easy for someone to call the local coal barn and tell the police that there's some crazy dude up on the bridge. Because there are signs at each, at, at each end of the bridge saying no entrance. So, again, same story as with the tunnels. It's private property owned by JR Rail, Japan Rail. So if we get up on there and the police come, we could find ourselves in all sorts of trouble. So it's just not worth it. As we've talked about on, on other videos, the last thing you want to do in Japan is get convicted of any sort of crime. Even a, a minor crime like that could really change your opportunities in Japan, so it's better not to do it. Sadly, would have liked to have walked across that. That looks a bit exciting, doesn't it? Anyway, there it was. There's the bridge. Beautiful river, too. Hey, Joa. A moy, this <laughs> near.
So we're coming into another station here, guys. Pulling into another station at the end of day four. The station building's actually gone, but the platform's obviously still there. As is this rather intriguing little red wooden thing that appears to have been made with the intention of being able to push it up and down the track. It's got sort of like a seat on it. But it just seems that the wheels, they use these little wheels on it. And the wheels don't sort of seem adequate. It sort of didn't want to roll, didn't want to slide. So it's a bit hard to know what they're doing. It looks like you put a couple of kids on there and push it up and down or something. Who knows? Interesting idea. Anyway, there it was. So this is where we'll take off for day five. So again, interested to hear from you guys the the day one, day two style of, of video that was a bit more heavily edited. Do you prefer that or do you prefer the day three, day four style videos that were a little bit less talking and more walking? <laughs> Let us know what you prefer. More videos coming soon.